Hello, peoples, this is Sonic 2 and welcome back to the next uh, part of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. And blah, I had like the biggest brain fart right there. Either way, though, in the last episode, we finished off Sora's Nightmare. We arrived in Destiny Islands, met Kyrie and Riku. And today, we'll be exploring our days on Destiny Islands and just mingling, exploring, meeting the kids of Destiny Islands. So, once we're up, we're out here, and now let's run around. So, as Kyrie said, we have to find the, um, what's it called? Um, the, I was saying greens, but let's just say parts for the raft we're supposed to build. So, one part is right here, which is the log. So, we got one log. Now, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be collecting as many parts as I can. I know where all the parts are, but for now, I'm, but for now, I really just want to go over this game and also just mingling with the kids because, you know, the kids can be interesting. I say sort of, yeah, sort of interesting. Just, yeah. I say either way though, you know how you know how we like to have that snazzy keyblade. But if we had the snazzy sword back in um, Swords Nightmare, well, it's been replaced with a wooden sword. Yeah, how fun! You where the cloth is right there. Let's jump right off. Oh crap! All right. So before we go up there, let's talk to the kids. So right here we have Waka. As I said before, he made his debut in Final Fantasy X, which came out a year before um, what's it called, Kingdom Hearts One. So, we could, we could talk to either of the kids to get like, like a little special talk with them, and we could also verse them. So, basically versing the kids is basically as it goes. You, you find out their weakness, and just attack them. Alright, so if you saw me hit that ball right there, you saw this thing called TP. Basically, TP is tech points. Tech points is basically another word for EXP in this game. So, to get tech points, it's either exploiting an enemy's weakness or deflecting an attack. For Waka, however, all you gotta do is deflect the ball, and you get a tech point. The exploring weaknesses will come into the game later, but for now, just know that getting tech points is just um, reflecting an attack. Wait, wait, though. Walk is pretty much a two-trick pony. All you gotta do... Not a two-trick... Yeah, yeah, one-trick pony. Basically, all you gotta do is um, hit the balls whenever he, whenever he hits, um, throws them, and you're good to go. But it could go on for a while because sometimes it's, the balls do not want to hit Waka. Come on! Ah! Oh, whoa! Okay, he actually hit me. Screw you. Alright, uh, you know what? Oh wait, you're kidding me. Screw this. Holy crap, okay, Waka will not die, I do not know why. Booyah! I <laughs> got him right in midair. Die! Uh-oh, 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 potion! No! Oh man, we lost to walk our first major fight of the game. Ah, okay. You know what? Yeah, let's go again. This time I'm being super serial. Waka, you are going down. On the bright side, though, we could get more tech points, so yeah, that's a plus. All right, Waka, let's go again. Oh, oh crap. Okay. Waka, you my sir suck and perfect. Yeah. Yeah. What ya? Back, back away, back away. Oh, see, so yeah, if you notice that whenever you get close to Waka, he will spin the ball around, which is an attack I believe in Final Fantasy X. So, if I were you, stay as far away as you can from Waka and just all, and just deflect the balls. Boo! Oh! What? Oh, that's such BS, I swear, I hit him. Okay. Holy oh, crap, okay. This isn't going no. Waka, die already! You're kidding me. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. We actually lost to Waka a second time. Okay, I am not starting up this LP very, very good. I am not doing this good. All right, this time, third time to charm. I swear, I have to defeat Waka. This is the first, I guess you could say, sort of major battle of the game, and I am not going to be humiliated by this guy. I swear, um, this isn't John DiMaggio. I think it's Deep Bradley Baker. I swear, whoever your voice actor is, I'm not going to be humiliated. Perfect, but I missed. Holy crap, the balls aren't hitting him! Okay, ah, crap. Perfect! Right in midair. Okay, can I get away from him again? Ooh! Come on! Okay, this is seriously going nowhere. I swear, if he did not do like that attack whenever you get close to him, I would hit him. Perfect! Nice, and we level up again! Ah, crap. Nice, okay, we hit him again. Come on, yes, walk is defeated! Haha, <laughs> yes, finally! Okay, one kid down, 
Three more to go. Seriously, that fight was just annoying. Alright, okay, next up on the list is Selfie, making her debut, like I said before, in Final Fantasy VIII. So, Selfie is also really good if you want to grind, um, what's it called, some early tech points, but if you're talking about a real challenge, Selfie is not a real challenge. Alright, so unlike Waka, you could pretty much just attack her as, much as, as long as you want. And plus, she'll, event she'll occasionally um, use her jump rope whip, I guess you could say, and she's already down. That was it. I'm not even joking. That was Selfie's fight. That was pathetically easy. Okay, now Selfie's down. Let's go over to the final kit we could, uh, final, final, final fantasy kit we could talk about. Okay, that was a really, really bad tongue twister right there. Which is Tidus. Yeah, you see him over there. But first, supply rope is right there. Okay, let's talk Tidus. All right, he has his little stick, which is kind of weird though because he's a blitz ball player. So shouldn't he have a ball? And he uses a sword, so shouldn't he be? Ah, whatever. Orin isn't in this game yet. Okay. Anyway though, let's fight Tidus. Alright, so TS is really, really good when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat, unlike Waka and Selfie, because they're mainly just tech point grindings. But when it comes to TS, he's really good because there will be some fights later on the game where you have to... F that's sort of similar to TS's fight. So this is really good to get you prepared for those kind of fights. Ow! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright. <laughs> I had to use my one and only potion. Oh. Ah! Come on, TS is dying. Screw you. Yeah, there we go. TS is dead. And yep, so now TS is done. But we're not done with the kids yet because there is one fight you could um, do if you talk to Tidus again. So, talk to him again. Yep, you three against me. So now it's a 3v1 and this is seriously unfair. Okay, I recommend this. Take out Waka first because as you, dem as you saw before, this guy could literally be, the m literally be the most annoying character that you have to fight. So, take out Waka and then deal with either Selfie or Tidus first. I recommend Selfie, but whatever. Okay. Oh crap, okay. Tidus is tired, so that's good. And perfect. Walk is defeated. So let's go after let's take out Selfie. Oh crap, okay. I'm not really liking this because Selfie is could potentially get me down and I do not have an extra potion. Holy crap, come on. Wait. Oh crap, I, I did I take out Tidus? Yeah, okay, selfie's down. Now time for Tidus. Alright, Tidus, come over here. Let go. Eh. Ah! Ooh! I beat you before I could do it again! Hiya! Okay, he's not dead yet. This is not good. Holy crap, Tidus, die! Okay, seriously, this guy is not dying no matter how many attacks I do on him, so... Perfect, tech point, and perfect! Finally, he's dead. Okay. And we did not level up, which really does sadden me. Oh, dear. Okay, anyway, the Final Fantasy kids are not done, and ooh, we got a potion, nice. Okay, so that potion I wasted on Tia's is not in vain. Alright, so we got another potion, but there is one more kid we could fight, and he is actually near one of the supplies we have to get. So, let's head over to that lone island over there and meet our best friend. Wait for it. Hold on, wait. Wait. <gasps> Look at this! Pow Pow Fruit. Yeah, we'll be getting into more uh, Pow Pow Fruit is, but for now, just know that. And our next friend is Riku, but first... We need to collect this log. Alright, Riku. Let's see what he has to say. Did you get everything we need for that raft? I gave my stuff to Kyrie. Hey, Sora, how about a quick round? Grab your sword. Okay, you're on. Okay. So, fighting Riku. He's also another one. He's also another character that's really good for like the sword-to-sword -sword combat, just like Tia's. But you know what? While we're beating the crap out of Riku, let's get into the voice actors. So, Sora is voiced by Haley Joel Osment. If you don't know who he is, he's um, Emily Osment's um, brother. Okay, now before I talk about the other voice actors, if you saw what Riku did there whenever I knocked him down, like that, you see that? Yeah, he will flip right back up, which is a very, very, very... Oh, no! It's a very, guess you could say, unpredictable, um, unpredictable attack, but you have to be really quick when it comes to that. And Riku taunting, you suck. Come on. Jesus, Riku. Okay. See, so yeah, either way though. Um, Kyrie. Oh no, zero to one. Okay, let's voice. Let's verse voice verse Riku again, just because that was really unfair. I say either way. Kyrie is um voiced by Hayden Panettiere. She was in such movies as Remember the Titans, um, some movie about cheerleading or whatever. I really forgot what the movie was called. Ouch, that was unfair. The camera was obscuring me. Okay, whatever though. And Riku is voiced by David Gallagher, the kid from Seventh Heaven, and. Fun fact about David Gallagher, he's actually from my hometown of College Point. So, yeah, there's that. 
Okay, I gotta be really careful because that attack that Riku did before, like the backflip, that could really screw you over. And so, I don't know why I couldn't move there, which is kind of stupid. Oh no, that's such BS, I can't move. Okay, you know what, one more time. Riku, I'm gonna go against you one last time. I might make it two, two to one, but still, I'll go after you. Ow, bullcrap. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 I jumped over him. That was complete crap. Riku's standing up there. Oh crap, I can't barely even move when he does that attack, it's so stupid! You know what, okay, one last time, Riku. One last time, I swear. Okay, I'm legitimately gonna beat the crap out of you. Alright, let's go. You know, I really should practice with this fight a lot more because as you can tell, I suck at this fight. Let's get away. Ah, I wish we could really throw these coconuts at him, that would be so funny though. We can just throw that like, coconuts at Riku. Oh! Oh my gosh, okay, I... Okay, I see his strategy now. Wait. Oh, he actually dies at that time. Perfect. Uh oh. Wait, what the heck? Whoa. Whoa. Bow crap, bow crap. Okay. Oh yeah, also if you follow up the platform, that will count as a ring out, and if that does happen, then he scores a point and you don't. So yeah. Come on, okay. Alright, let's go, Riku, let's go. Oh, Jesus Christ, Riku, we just died. Finally, thank you! And I got five points for that. Thank you. About time. Now the score is one to three. That's nothing to be a con that's nothing to be proud of, Sora. It's one to three though. Either way though, we defeated Riku, we got another potion, yay! Let's go talk to Kairi because, yeah, I think we've had enough for today, so let's go talk to Kairi and off this day. We. Alright, what does he have to say now? Thanks, Sora, I found something today too. Here's it, here's yours. What? High po- Ugh, high potion, nice! Tired one call a day? Yeah, let's go home. Just that tired. So, Kyrie's home is out there somewhere, right? Could be. We'll never know by staying here. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. So, suppose you get to another world. <laughs> what would you do there? Hmm. Well, I... I haven't really thought about it. It's just, I've always wondered why we're here, on this island. If there are any other worlds out there, why did we end up on this one? And suppose there are other worlds. Then ours is just a little piece of something much greater. So, we could have just as easily ended up somewhere else, right? I don't know. Exactly. That's why we need to go out there and find out. Just sitting here won't change a thing. It's the same old stuff. So let's go. You've been thinking a lot lately, haven't you? Thanks to you. If you hadn't come here, I probably would have never thought of any of this. Kari, thanks. You're welcome. Sora! You wanted one, didn't you? A palpoo fruit? If two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. They'll remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. Come on, I know you want to try it. What are you talking? <laughs> Thank you.
Ladies! What? 